Greetings, folks. The name of the game today is going to be making a logo like this for your website and then putting it in the header just like this. Now, if you're launching a blog or a website, there's no reason to turn to some graphic designer who will charge you hundreds of dollars. There's no reason to go hunting around Google for something random. And there's no reason to pull your hair out trying to think up the next crazy revolutionary logo. But you do need something. So why don't we get started? Uh oh. Looks like our logo has vanished. So we better fix that. The first step is simple. Head over to dryicons.com. They're a free repository of graphics and logos and icons. They've got a lot of cool items, a lot of them come in sets, and I recommend browsing around a bunch and finding something that suits you. But I've got a thing for coffee, so let's do a quick search for that. We can see just for coffee there's a ton of options in different themes and different styles, but I like this sticker right here. It also comes in a whole set, but I'll just download the PNG file. You should read through this part to make sure you get the license right, but we're just going to use this free one and all we need to do is include this text somewhere on our site with the link right back to this page or the home page is fine. Let's download that PNG. When we find it in our downloads, just double click to unzip the file and then check out the variety of logos and sizes that we got. Here's where it gets interesting. Let's head over to pixlr.com now. That's P I X L R.com. And they're basically a Photoshop alternative, all for free. Okay. We want to open up that image we just downloaded and I'm going to pick the 128s by 128s because that's a typical header size in WordPress websites. Double click to open. So we need some room to add text, which means we need to make our canvas size bigger as opposed to the image size. 350 should do. Click over here on the A to insert some text, and then let's just style it out. To change the color, we can use the color selector wheel, but I want my text to be the same color as the icon. That's better. And okay. We can move the text around with this cursor and then maybe crop things so we can make sure it fits. Once we're all set, just save our new logo and create a name that you'll be able to remember. Now it's time to upload this logo to WordPress. We want to put it right here. So let's head to the dashboard. And this particular look is actually a premium theme that I've been working with. Let's go over here to company theme options and get rid of this. To get our logo into the site, we need to upload it. Now let's go and find it and pull it up to the website. Once it's up, copy that link and paste it in here and let's refresh. 
The logo is there, but there's a slight problem. It's too big for our header, and it's conflicting with our search feature right here. So we're going to have to fix that. One really easy way to make your header size bigger for any reason is to write in some CSS with that selector and set the height to something a bit bigger. And then you can just save changes. Click the logo to refresh and things are looking cool. Great! So we've just created ourselves a logo. But what if you just downloaded your first copy of WordPress and it looks like this? On this particular theme, WordPress lets you put an entire header image in up here. So let's take a look at how to do just that. If we hover up here, we can click on Customize and now select Header Image. So WordPress, interestingly enough, wants our image to come in at 1260 by 240 pixels. So we'll head back to Pixlr. Now click on Canvas Size and let's make those changes. So we need to make everything a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good for now. So we'll save and change the title. Once it's saved, all we need to do to put it on this new version of WordPress is click add new image and then upload. Click select and crop and then crop image when it looks okay. And then save and publish. And here we have our first header image. You'll notice too that this header image is responsive. So along with the entire blog, it shrinks or enlarges according to how big your browser window is. Not a bad feature at all. So folks, that does it for the tutorial. Remember, there are tons of free open source resources on the web that you're supposed to use and it'll help you focus on your real expertise, whatever that may be. I almost forgot to do one more thing, or my editor would probably kill me. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.